Jasmine tapped her pen nervously on her notepad. She kept glancing from her overflowing inbox to Mr. Johnson's closed office door. He'd called her for a meeting, which was unusual. Mr. Johnson, or Dale as few called him, was tall with perfectly combed dark hair, even after a long day. He was serious-looking with kind eyes that crinkled at the corners, though he never smiled. Today, however, there was something different in his eyes when he looked at her. It wasn't a smile, but a crease on his forehead that seemed more like deep thinking than worry. Finally, the door opened, and Dale's loud voice filled the room. A Jasmine, come in, please. Jasmine took a deep breath and stood up, her heart beating faster than usual. Mr. Johnson never called her in alone. The office air was cool and smelled of crisp paper and maybe aftershave? Dale pointed to a chair across from his big desk. Jasmine sat, her back very straight. E Jasmine, E Dale began, his voice quieter than usual. I this is a bit unconventional. Jasmine's stomach twisted. Unconventional wasn't good. Mr. Johnson liked things neat and orderly, just like his perfectly combed hair. E. I. I need your help, E. Dale continued softly. E. It's about my family. Jasmine tilted her head. Mr. Johnson rarely talked about his family. Everyone knew he was never married, and rumors said he had no close relatives. E. You see, E. Dale said, leaning forward, E. My family business has been passed down from father to son for generations. But. I don't have any sons. A small spark of understanding flickered in Jasmine's mind. Did Mr. Johnson want her to find him a wife? But then she remembered, marriage wasn't what Mr. Johnson wanted. E. And that's where you come in, E. Dale said, his voice stronger. E. I need an heir. Someone to carry on the family name. Jasmine stared, her mind racing. Heir? Did he mean? E. I'm not asking you to get married, E. Dale said quickly, as if reading her mind. E. Just, to have a baby. Your child would become my heir. Jasmine's breath caught in her throat. This wasn't just unconventional, it was completely crazy. But then a knot of worry tightened in her stomach. Crazy was better than the alternative, her bank account was almost empty, thanks to her brother Josh's constant school fights and expensive medical bills. Dale continued, I understand this is a lot to ask. But I'm willing to offer you a significant financial reward. Enough to solve any difficulties you might have. Jasmine's heart pounded. This could solve everything. No more worrying about bills, no more fear of Josh getting hurt again. But having a baby just for money. E I'll need some time to think about it, she Jasmine finally managed to say, her voice small. Dale nodded, a hint of what looked like disappointment in his eyes. E of course. Take all the time you need. Jasmine left the office feeling like her world had tilted on its axis. Mr. Johnson, the serious, never smiling boss, wanted a child from her. And the money, the money could fix everything. The next few days were a blur. Jasmine's mind spun with the impossible offer. She thought about her tiny apartment, barely big enough for her and Josh, let alone a baby. She thought about her dreams of becoming a photographer, dreams fading faster with every unpaid bill. Then she thought about Josh, his bright smile and mischievous eyes. She couldn't let his future be ruined by debt, could she? Finally, with a heavy heart, Jasmine made her decision. She marched back into Mr. Johnson's office, her jaw set. E. All right, Mr. Johnson. I'll do it. The crease in Dale's forehead disappeared, replaced by a look that surprised Jasmine. It was relief, pure and simple. E. Thank you, Jasmine, eh? he said his voice gruff but warm. A you won't regret this. And so began the most unconventional arrangement Jasmine could have ever imagined. Doctor's appointments, awkward conversations about timelines and logistics, and a constant undercurrent of tension filled the following weeks. 
Jasmine learned that Dale, despite his gruff exterior, had a surprising shyness about personal matters. He fumbled through explanations, his cheeks flushing a faint pink when the doctor explained the process. Jasmine, usually bubbly and outgoing, found herself strangely subdued. This wasn't just a business deal anymore. It felt different. One particularly tense afternoon, after yet another doctor's appointment, Jasmine found herself blurting out, You why are you doing this, Mr. Johnson? Dale was caught off guard. A what do you mean? A why do you need an heir so badly? Jasmine pressed. A you seem lonely. Silence hung heavy in the air. Dale ran a hand through his usually perfect hair, messing it up for the first time Jasmine had ever seen. Finally, he spoke, his voice low. E the business is all I have left. My parents, they died when I was young. No siblings, no cousins. Just me. A wave of unexpected sympathy washed over Jasmine. She had always thought Dale had a cold heart, only caring about profit. But seeing him vulnerable, a lonely man clinging to his only legacy, changed her perspective. That night, for the first time, Jasmine didn't go straight to sleep after her ramen dinner. She sat down with her laptop and looked at old photos from her photography days. Scenes of bustling markets, vibrant sunsets, and playful children filled the screen. She felt a pang of longing. These were the things she was giving up, her dreams, for Josh's future. But then, a new idea struck her. What if this arrangement could be more? What if she could have both, a secure future for Josh and a chance to pursue her passion? The next morning, she walked into Dale's office, not with apprehension, but with determination in her eyes. E. Mr. Johnson, e. she began, J. I have a proposition. Dale, used to her quiet demeanor, was surprised by her confident tone. A what is it, Jasmine? Taking a deep breath, Jasmine laid out her plan. E. I want to use the financial support you're offering to invest in my photography. I promise I'll be responsible. But in return, I want you to be involved in Josh's life. Be a mentor, a father figure he can look up to. Surprise flickered across Dale's face, quickly replaced by something that looked like interest. E a mentor, she he repeated slowly. A yes, e Jasmine pressed. E Josh needs a positive male role model. Someone to teach him right from wrong. Someone to show him there's more to life than fighting. A long silence followed. Then, to Jasmine's astonishment, Dale offered a reluctant smile. A the photography, that's a good idea, Jasmine. And Josh. Well, maybe I could handle a little mentoring. So, their unconventional arrangement took an even more unexpected turn. Dale, once a distant figure, started showing up at their apartment for dinner, helping Josh with his schoolwork, and taking him to soccer practice. With newfound financial security, Jasmine blossomed. Her apartment, once filled only with ramen noodle packets, began to display beautiful photographs. Their arrangement wasn't perfect. There was still awkwardness, especially regarding the baby they were trying to conceive. Sometimes, Jasmine felt like just a vessel, a means to an end, rather than a partner. But then there were moments, a shared laugh over Josh's antics, a stolen glance during a movie night, that hinted at something deeper. One rainy afternoon, while Josh was out playing with a friend, Dale came over to help Jasmine pack for an upcoming photography competition. As they carefully placed her framed photographs into a box, their fingers brushed. A jolt of electricity ran through Jasmine, making her heart skip a beat. Dale, too, seemed flustered, the familiar crease appearing on his forehead. A you're really good, E. Dale finally said, staring at a photo of a group of children playing in the rain. Jasmine felt a blush creep up her cheeks. E. Thank you, E. she mumbled. For a moment, they stood there, the air thick with unspoken emotions. Then, as if breaking a spell, Dale cleared his throat. Oh well, I should get going. He turned to leave, 
but Jasmine impulsively caught his arm. E wait, e she whispered. Dale looked back at her, his eyes searching hers. The unspoken question hung in the air, what now? Just then, the sound of Josh's boisterous laughter filled the apartment as he burst through the door, soaked to the bone. Both Jasmine and Dale let out a sigh of relief, the tension easing. That night, as Jasmine lay in bed with Josh curled up beside her, she thought about Dale. Their arrangement had become a tangled mess of emotions, fear, hope, and a growing affection that surprised her. She knew things couldn't stay this way forever. The question was, what would happen next? Would a baby solidify their bond or drive them further apart? The following months were a whirlwind. Jasmine's pregnancy progressed, and so did her photography career. Her competition entry won an award, and she started receiving freelance gigs. Dale, ever the businessman, helped her navigate contracts and legalities, a surprising side of him that Jasmine found oddly endearing. Josh, however, was a different story. Initially excited about the prospect of a baby sibling, his enthusiasm waned as Jasmine's belly grew bigger and her energy levels dipped. He started acting out in school again, seeking attention in the only way he knew how. One evening, after a particularly frustrating phone call from Josh's teacher, Jasmine snapped at Dale. Uh, this is all your fault, as she cried, tears stinging her eyes. Uh, you brought all this chaos into our lives. Dale flinched, his face hurt. But instead of getting angry, he sat down beside her and spoke gently. E we're in this together, Jasmine, he said. E maybe we haven't figured out how to be a team yet, but we can learn. His words, surprisingly calming, gave Jasmine a much-needed reality check. They were a team, an unconventional one, but a team nonetheless. Over the next few weeks, they focused on rebuilding their dynamic. Dale spent more time playing with Josh, teaching him how to channel his energy into positive outlets like drawing and soccer practice. Jasmine, in turn, included Dale in her photography adventures, letting him glimpse the world through her lens. One sunny afternoon, perched on a hill overlooking the city, Jasmine was taking photos of a group of children playing. Dale sat beside her, Josh kicking a ball at his feet. As the golden light bathed them in a warm glow, a sense of peace settled over Jasmine. Maybe, just maybe, this unconventional family of theirs could work. The day Jasmine went into labor was a blur of emotions. Dale, ever the rock, held her hand through every contraction, his presence a source of unexpected comfort. When their baby, a healthy little girl with eyes like Dale's, was finally placed in Jasmine's arms, a wave of love so powerful washed over her that it took her breath away. Looking up, Jasmine saw Dale gazing at their daughter with a tenderness she'd never seen before. In that moment, something shifted between them. The barrier created by their initial deal melted away. As weeks turned into months, their unconventional family settled into a comfortable routine. Dale became more than just a business partner, he was a father figure to Josh and a loving partner to Jasmine. They weren't a picture-perfect family, but they were theirs, showing how love can bloom in unexpected ways. One quiet evening, as they sat on the porch swing with their daughter nestled between them, Dale turned to Jasmine. I remember when I said you wouldn't regret this? She asked with a soft smile. Jasmine leaned her head on his shoulder, sighing contentedly. E you were right, Mr. Johnson, e she whispered playfully. E but maybe you should call me Jasmine now. Dale chuckled warmly. E all right, Jasmine. Though I think I might prefer a different title. He leaned in closer, his breath tickling her ear. A how about? Mom? Jasmine's heart leaped into her throat. The endearment, casual yet meaningful, made her blush. Eat Dale? She stammered, her voice thick with emotion. He cupped her face in his hand, gently brushing away a stray tear. We've come a long way, haven't we? Zhi he said softly. E from a business deal to this. This. 
It wasn't quite a love confession, but it carried the weight of their bond forged through unexpected circumstances. Jasmine nodded, unable to find the words to express her emotions. There was love, a love that had grown from shared experiences, late-night talks, and stolen glances. But there was also fear. Their foundation wasn't built on typical romantic beginnings, and the weight of their unconventional arrangement loomed large. Dale seemed to sense her hesitation. He squeezed her hand, grounding her. E we don't have to rush into anything, Jasmine, e he said gently. E but I do know this, I want to be here. For you, for Josh, and for our little miracle. He looked down at their daughter, who cooed softly in her sleep. A tenderness filled his eyes, mirroring the love blooming in Jasmine's heart. Taking a deep breath, Jasmine decided to take a leap of faith. E me too, Dale, e she whispered, her voice gaining strength. E I want you here too. Their eyes met, a silent conversation passing between them. It wasn't a declaration of forever, but a promise to explore the uncharted territory before them. The front door creaked open, and Josh peeked out, rubbing his eyes sleepily. A mommy, daddy? E he mumbled. Jasmine reached out and pulled Josh into their embrace. He snuggled between them, his small body bridging their two worlds. Looking at her makeshift family, warmth filled Jasmine's chest. Their journey had been far from traditional, but maybe that was its beauty. They were writing their own love story, one messy chapter and one perfectly imperfect moment at a time. The following months were full of adjustments. Their tiny apartment felt even smaller with a newborn, and constant sleep deprivation tested their patience. Dale, used to a quiet, solitary life, now found himself navigating diaper changes and bedtime stories with clumsy but endearing enthusiasm. Josh, initially wary of his niece, slowly warmed up, becoming her self-proclaimed protector, fiercely guarding her from any perceived dangers, including the family dog, a gentle golden retriever named Sonny. One particularly chaotic morning, as Jasmine wrestled with a fussy baby and a spilled bottle of formula, Dale walked in, looking surprisingly cheerful despite the dark circles under his eyes. E mornings are lively, e he remarked, a hint of a smile on his lips. Jasmine, sleep-deprived and frazzled, could only manage a weak groan. Dale, ever the businessman, saw an opportunity. E how about I take the baby to the park for a while? Give you some peace and quiet. The offer was tempting. The thought of an hour without the constant demands of two small children was pure bliss. E are you sure you can handle him? E she asked, a sliver of doubt in her voice. E hey, I may not be a natural with babies, E Dale said, gently picking up his daughter, who cooed at him instantly, E but I can handle a ten year old. With a grateful smile, Jasmine handed the baby over watching as they walked out the door, a mismatched pair but undeniably connected. The quiet that descended upon the apartment felt almost deafening, but in the best way possible. Jasmine sank onto the couch, cradling her daughter clothes. As the baby drifted off to sleep, Jasmine allowed herself a moment of reflection. Looking back at their journey, it was hard to believe how far they'd come. From the initial awkwardness of their unconventional arrangement to the messy beauty of their everyday life, a sense of accomplishment filled her. They weren't perfect, not by a long shot. There were arguments about chores, disagreements about parenting styles, and the constant struggle to find a work-life balance. But through it all, there was a foundation of respect, a shared love for their children, and a growing affection for each other that couldn't be denied. That night, after Josh and the baby were fast asleep, Dale found Jasmine curled up on the couch, a half-finished photography project abandoned on the coffee table. He sat down beside her, his presence comforting. A still working on your dreams, I see, he said softly. Jasmine looked up at him, a tired smile on her lips. Either just aren't enough hours in the day, e she admitted. E maybe there is a way, e Dale said thoughtfully. He explained an idea he'd been considering for a while, using a portion of the company profits to create a foundation to support local artists, including Jasmine. 
this would allow her to pursue her passion while still contributing to their family. Tears welled up in Jasmine's eyes, not just from exhaustion but from deep gratitude. Dale wasn't just her partner, he was her biggest supporter. He saw her dreams, believed in her talent, and wanted to help her achieve them. As they talked late into the night, keeping their voices low so as not to wake the children, a new chapter in their unconventional love story began. It wasn't a story with a grand beginning or a predictable ending. It was written in messy scribbles, late-night laughter, and the unwavering love of a family built on something far more meaningful than a business deal. It was their story, and it was far from over.